Yeah. You want to see a That's very expensive video right game? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. There's only four of these in existence. Okay, this is the first right print, there. Castlevania. It's a non-rev hang tab. That's a third-party hang tab. This is probably, arguably, right, with, with Contra, like, the best Konami game around. Mm. But this is, just doesn't exist, guys. There's four of these in existence, maybe five. This is the highest graded water copy, and we're asking 1.25 million. Woo! Okay. Try to find this somewhere else. You won't. You only nope. find this at Metropolis Comic Connect. Let's go. Welcome to Comic Con, guys. <laughs> that Again, you have any that Captain America piece is like the most expensive comic you got? Uh, here? No. The most expensive comic, if we had to put a price on it, would probably uh, be the Marvel Comics number one. That's a, the Marvel Pay copy. Oh, wow. Um, you know, oh, there's, no good. there's not even a price on it. Right these these don't exist. Uh, these don't exist. Hey, He's a, and it's a nine point two. The whole year, right there. Dude, and if I can swap out. Year, right Some amazing condition too. Guys, yeah, opening it just for us too. The official deal. Look how, this look, label on here. look how clean this looks, man. That's how rare it is. That's how rare it is. You don't even want the label on it. Well, the thing that's special about this is the pay copy, right? So, the publishers recorded the payments of the artist on here. So couple that with like the fact that it's a Marvel number one, right? Marvel Comics number one. First. I mean, one. look at the time period, 1939. Ten cents. It's one of the what most is... important comic books in history, right yep. there. Yep. God knows what he's talking about. Where does it say 1939? Yes, sir. Where does it say? That's, that's the first Marvel comic. Yep. Remember at that time, 39. there were Atlas comics. And they were doing like westerns and romances. Yeah. Detective comics. Yeah. That was Marvel's first attempt at doing superheroes. And it, and it predates literally everything. It's two years before the Captain America. Yep. The guy looks awesome. <laughs> that was the first attempt at making a superhero, the, the flame guy. Human That's the, the, human human, torch. the human yeah, torch. The human torch. And that yeah. also has the first appearance of Submariner. And Kazan. And Kazan. Kazan, man. Awesome, man. I appreciate you. How much did you sell this for? I, that's, that's not for sale. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it, it, if I was going to put a price on it, it'd probably be three million. Plus. Are these your collect? I wish. <laughs> I wish. You're just out here showcasing them, correct? Yeah. So, so again, that's my you're role here it. for the company. You hold this down. Um, I set up all the shows for them. I wish this was mine. Legend, born this way, man. Up until very recently, I worked for Goodbye Industries. Look at this, look at this Superman. Uh, uh, there was an uh, elderly lady, Off -white pages. I believe that was the story. They donated Metro a sealed Post. Zelda. It was, I believe, a second print, second and it went for 450000 My Goodwill that I was at, we had a sealed Mario Brothers Arcade Classics. That was a real no print one. We sold it for seventeen grand. You want to see what I got from the client? Sure. Only two to three of them in existence. <laughs> Only two to three of them in existence. Three of them in existence. Three of them in existence. I got stuff that nobody's supposed to see on this phone. Uh, what, 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 are you, what are you looking up? What are you looking up? Yeah, what are you looking up? What is it that you're finding? I am. Is this recording? Yes. Okay. But no, no phone, no phone. So, so my my role here is I'm the head of the video game department for Metropolis Collectibles. I'm also oh. um, a comic book specialist. Mm -hmm. I, I deal with a lot of the stuff that comes in the house for the auctions, so consignment as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys that I'm working with here, mm -hmm. he gave us this uh, potential crazy, crazy deal we're working on. But this gentleman here knows video games, so just to gauge a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mat. Oh man. That's a, and, and the last time I checked there's only two of those that exist. Now I've heard, I've heard I've heard now what? we're not gonna show you we not can yet. show you this. I can't show it on camera. You can't you show might not it on know camera. what that is. Okay. He's still working on the deal, so he can't show it on camera yet. Right. There's only two of in the world? That I've heard of. There could be a few more. That are sealed with that high grade. Man. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, certain things don't exist. The guy knows. The guy knows what he's talking about. Man. Crazy shit. That's I right, man. Keep, it up. Keep up the good work, Likewise. man. For real. What's your name, brother? I'm David. David, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet and you. you are, sir? 
Carlos. Carlos, Jeff, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I love the collection. Thank you. We try, man. Check it out, please. Okay, what's up everyone? We're gonna talk a little bit about these graded comic books that I saw at Comic-Con. This was so crazy. The first thing I want to point out is these are original pages. This is the original artwork from the comic books. I don't know if you can tell, but this paper right here that you're looking at, these pages, are actually the original pages from the comic books. So there's a lot of different series. But these pages are worth a lot. Alright, now we're taking a look at the whole comic book collection here. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the history of these comic books. Right here we're taking a quick look at some Spider-Man key issues drawn by John Romita, Steve Ditko, the original artist of Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 300 by Tom McFarlane. So this cover right here is actually the first appearance ever of Vision or The Vision. This cover just looks so cool to me. I think it's awesome. This was a 9.8. This is the giant sized X-Men number one. Basically the X-Men were around before this, but this is the book that recreated them to be more like how we know them today. The costumes. Before this, they had classic costumes and they were a little different. This is one of the best books here. This is Amazing Fantasy 15. This is the first appearance of Spider-Man. This is the first Spider-Man comic, the first story. The comic book wasn't even called Spider-Man yet. It was called Amazing Fantasy number 15. You can see more key issues like the first Amazing Spider-Man and the first appearance of Wolverine in The Incredible Hulk. But right here, these are some of the oldest Marvel comics. So before they were Marvel, they were called Atlas Comics. So these are pretty old. And right here, the really rare comic that they showed us, the first ever Marvel comic. This is the first Marvel comic ever. These are the classic X-Men costumes I was telling you about. So that's before the giant size X-Men. 350,000. This is the first Captain America ever. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty crazy cover, but it's worth a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. I love the history of comic books. I love everything about it from the artist to the stories to the characters. I guess I don't have so much comic book knowledge when it comes to this top shelf here. So guys, let me know if you know anything about these characters. I think I see Thor. We're taking a look at this other part that has different comic books. I see G.I. Joe and some Star Wars. These are some Disney comics. They have to be old. They look old. And oh my god, what is this? Shield and Wizard fun comics? That's something I would show to my friend's dad to see if he remembers any of this stuff. But all right, guys, we're almost done with the video. In this little part here, you can see a bunch of old school detective comics and Superman comics and early Batman. Remember, detective comics is actually what had um, Batman in it in the beginning. So the first Batman comic was a detective comics issue but that's all for today guys comic-con is awesome hopefully i got to show you guys something really cool i really love this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like on the video write a comment don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like these and hey share the video with everyone show somebody these rare comics i'd really appreciate it don't forget guys, I live stream on Twitch. We have a Discord channel. Of course, I make YouTube videos and I make TikToks. Check out my TikTok profile. I even live stream there. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm working on so many new videos. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos really soon. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you again next time.